All right, guys, we are at Big Lots in Myers Lake Plaza in Canton, Ohio, and we are gonna go in here and see what kind of awesome Halloween goodness we can find. I see spookiness straight ahead. Look at this. We've got some inflatables right in front of us, guys. Check out this mysterious mansion inflatable. This is so cool. I want to see what happens when that opens. I don't know if it's supposed to be open right now. Oh, here it comes. It's a ghost. There's a ghost in the top window of the mysterious mansion. And look at this guy down here. It's a mummy who's just peeking out the window and moving his head back and forth. It is so cool. We got a skeleton, or any, I mean a pumpkin boy down here, and then a witch down there. But the, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's even more. Look at this. Oh no, I, <laughs> I thought this guy was part of the inflatable. I thought he was just like laying there and he was gonna inflate and like come up or something. That is pretty awesome though. Here's the box for it right down here, but I don't see a price on it. I'm sure they will be on the shelf somewhere, so we're gonna find them, but look at this. We got a Oogie Boogie right here, and we have a Jack Skellington. These are probably, I don't know, three and a half feet tall or something like that. They're not very big, but they are pretty cool. I mean, you can never go wrong with the Oogie Boogie. You gotta love how green he is. Then we have the small trick-or-treating pumpkin skeleton boy. Look at this, he's only 18 bucks. What the heck, that is one heck of a price for that thing. 18 bucks for the air-blown pumpkin boy skeleton. He is awesome. And then we have one of my favorites, the spooky tree. I love the spooky tree inflatables. Are these pumpkins? Yeah, these pumpkins are part of it. So you get one, two jack-o'-lanterns, and then you get a spooky tree for 45 bucks. He's probably, he's probably five feet tall too. That is awesome, I love that. Uh, a couple of boxes down here. Oh look, the haunted house is 150. That's not too bad. I really like it. I love the ghost that comes out up there and this guy who's just like laughing at everyone that comes trick-or-treating. We have lots of Halloween stuff here that I'm dying to look at, but I wanna go try to find the other inflatables first. Ah, yes, here they are. Okay, so we have a small ghost, trick-or-treating ghost, who's scared of something he has seen. Maybe it's the skeleton boy. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the black cat. We have a pumpkin stack. Oh, this is a pumpkin duo stack. There's two of them. You can actually get a giant stack of pumpkin inflatable um, on eBay. I think you have to go now. And there's like three of them. I think there's even more on some of them. It's like a totem pole. But there's one that's three big pumpkins and they're multicolored. That's a really difficult one to find. So we got the spooky tree here with the pumpkins like I showed you over there. Um, let's see, we have inflatable tombstone and ghost. That's pretty cool. He's, he's 42 inches, that's almost four feet tall. I wonder if that ghost stays inflated or if he like kind of goes down and then he inflates up every once in a while like he's coming out of the tombstone. That would be cool. We got a 38 inch inflatable pumpkin here. The three and a half foot oogie buggy and <laughs> three and a half foot Jack Skellington. And then I noticed down here, we have this Jack Skellington. It's almost like a blow mold. A blow mold is a plastic thing, kind of like this. They usually stand taller than this. And uh, yeah, they just make it on a plastic mold. It like blows the air in and the plastic puffs up into the mold. So that's why it's called a blow mold. But let's go ahead and hit this button here. Oh yeah, look at that. The pumpkin lights up, his eyes light up. That is pretty cool, I like that. I love the looks of that. Oh look, we also have the Oogie Boogie over here. Does he light up? Yes, okay, let's check it out. Yeah, look at that, look at the face and look at the pumpkin. That is so cool. 
Okay, so we've got a giant 50-inch spider. I guess you just unfold his legs. Does he have back legs? What in the world? He definitely has a butt, but I don't see any back legs. <laughs> I guess they all just unfold from right there, and the way that you spread them out makes them look like that. That is actually pretty cool. You could make a giant spider web and put him on your front porch. Is this the... Yes, this is the tree hugger witch. You take this witch and you wrap the arms and the legs around a tree in your front yard and it looks like she just smashed into it. Oh, and here's the mega spider web. Does it light up? Um, it looks... Oh, glows brightly in black light. That is pretty cool. So you wouldn't have to make your own on your porch. You could use this and then put the ginormous spider on and you could even get two of them. That fuzzy gray guy right there too. We got caution tape, what does it say? Enter if you dare. And then we have the hanging, oh, it's like a, a corpse. It's a hanging upside down skeleton. You could hang him from your spider web as if this spider caught him and was going to have dinner. We've got some big witch cauldrons, okay. Tombstone set, a six piece. These are foam, they're actually pretty thin, so you'd have to probably glue them to some wood or something, like cut in the same shape just to give them more strength. But those are pretty cool. We've got the three LED skull pathway markers. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and we got the three LED witch stakes. Look at those faces. Well, I guess there is no face, but it still looks pretty cool. Thundering strobe light. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's only 14 bucks, too. Orange pumpkin string lights. Yeah, those are awesome. Do they flash? Oh, I see. They don't flash. They just go on and off very slowly. That's really cool. You could string those around your porch. Wait, we've got the musical jack-o'-lantern string light here. Oh my gosh! Look at that! They sing! <laughs> I can't play that too long because the copyrights will pick up the song. But they sing the Monster Mash! And we got the musical ghosts. Let's see what they sing. It's the Ghostbusters song! Yes! That is the coolest thing ever! That is so cool. All kinds of awesome string lights here. Look at this multicolored uh, skulls. There's not a try me button on those, but you can imagine how cool those look. Waterfall fairy lights. These are remote control. Those are cool. I would love to hang those from my tree in the backyard right around my deck. That would be sweet even when it's not Halloween. Then we got these tiny ones here. Look at that. Ghosts, pumpkins, black cats, that is cool. Spider icicle lights, those are awesome. Oh yes, look at this, solar powered spider lights. That's the best, because they just, they gather their power from the sun during the day, and then at night they light up, so you don't have to plug them in anywhere. We've got the fog machine up here with the, with the skeleton hands holding on. Look at this, we've got the projection shadow lights here. Look, it's got skeletons and pumpkins and black cats and ghosts. <laughs> We've got the Halloween garlands here, black with pumpkins. Keep out eek and danger sign. Look at this one, welcome, we've been dying to meet you. And then I got this awesome welcome sign here. Oh, it says a wicked welcome. Home sweet home with ghosts on it. And then, oh, this is a haunted hollow. All right, I know he's got to say more than that. Ah, oh, yes. The master will love you. That's one of my favorite I phrases. <laughs> oh, yes, the master will love you. <laughs> Strange things come out on Halloween. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just the head. This does not actually come with 
like the rest of the body or a robe or anything. So you'd have to put your own robe together. But that is pretty cool. How much is he? Where the heck is the price on this? 20 bucks. All right, that is really cool. Let's do one more. Yes, come closer. Come right up this way. <laughs> <laughs> And look at this, we got a ghost light and a bat light here. Are these? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's neon. And then let's see this one, the ghost. Those both look so awesome. Can we just turn it on? Yes. Look at that. How cool is that? That's the kind of thing I want to find for my office so I don't always have to have a big light on. It can just be awesome Halloween lights. Of course, we have the Halloween hand towels here. You could decorate your kitchen and your bathroom. Look creep it real. And then we got this sign, welcome to our haunted home. Eat, drink, and be scary. I love the truck with the pumpkins in it. Man, I cannot wait to go to the pumpkin patch this year. Look at this one, a wicked welcome. And it's a truck, it's the back of a truck. It's driving away and it has carved pumpkins in it. Look at this, we have skeleton pirates. A skeleton pirate and a skeleton nurse here. A skeleton mermaid. Oh, here's another skeleton nurse. And all the joints move. Look at that. Give my regards to Broadway. <laughs> Skulls in a bag. Stuffed boo ghost. Enter if you dare. Here's a couple of smiling ghosties. What is this? Okay, we got a black cat, a ghost, and a pumpkin. And it says boo. We got a happy Halloween sign. Oh, this one lights up. See if we can get it going here. Yeah, look at that, the eyes light up. Very cool. Giant Happy Halloween pumpkin. And then we got the tin pumpkins here. And look at, this one's got a bat on it and it's wearing a witch hat. Here's another pumpkin that lights up. Look at that, the smile lights up too. And then we got the truck. Does this, oh yeah. Okay, it lights up inside behind that cat slash bat. I say bat because look how big the ears are. Welcome, come in and rest your bones. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. We got a boo sign, I'm here for the boos. Have a wicked Halloween with a black cat. Oh look, he's got little paws there. And a spooky sign with a boo ghost. What is this one here? It says Jack Skellington singing pumpkin. Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna try it, but I bet you anything his face shows up on that pumpkin. Oh, yes! Yes, that is so cool. That is 30 bucks. That is so awesome. Look at that. Oh my gosh, guys, I just realized I forgot my wallet. I would buy that right now if I had my stupid wallet with me. What kind of an idiot am I? <laughs> Look at the awesome Happy Halloween wreath with the orange sparkly pumpkins. So here's another aisle. There's more Halloween stuff down that we're gonna look at in a second, but this is more of like the just the fall stuff, but it's cool anyway. Look at this. Welcome to our pumpkin patch. Gather family and friends, grateful memories, blessings. Pick your own apple orchard. Okay, I don't wanna get away from Halloween, but there is hay rides on that sign. Here's a boo pillow. Oh, it says, hey boo. All right, let's head back down this way because they have some of these things on the table here. We got a wooden pumpkin here. We have the, uh, what do you call that guy? Like the scarecrow, is that a scarecrow? I guess it would be. Yeah, harvest scarecrow. Oh, they got the enchanted broom. This is like what we've seen at Cracker Barrel where it, uh, the broom, you turn it on and it just kind of roams around the room by itself. Another wooden pumpkin here, he's gray. And look at this, look at the cat with the cat bones. And a light up jack-o-lantern, let's try this. Oh cool, look at that. I don't know how well this comes across on the video until I get home and I can really see it, but this has like that fire and ice lights that spin around inside. Okay, yeah, you can see it right in there. That is really cool straw bales down here. You can actually go to different farms and stuff and pick up real straw bales, but they're big and sometimes they have spiders in them. Here's some ghosty trick-or-treater kids. Wait a minute, there's a try-me button. Nothing. 
I don't know, maybe it's lighting up inside or something and we just can't tell because it's so bright in here. Here's the broom that just roams around. Yes. Okay, I don't want to make it fall, but all right, let's put it on the floor. Hold on. Let's do this. There you go. How cool is that? It just roams around the floor as long as you'll let it. It's like chasing me. Get away from me, broom. Lots more harvest scarecrows here. And then here's how some of these pumpkins that are carvable. How much are they? They're 10 bucks a piece. That's not bad. These are like the ones that I bought uh, last year, I think it was. And I carved a couple of them. All right, we got this whole row here to check out. And let's start with Mr. Skeleton here. Posable five-foot skeleton. Oh, and his eyes work too. Let's see, can we do it? Yes, look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> so I would assume that you have to use this inside, but I'm not sure. I was reading online about the ones that you can get at Home Depot. You can get like five of them in a pack, and they have the eyes that are sort of like that. And I think that's why they say to use it inside. But people have said they used them outside and they were fine. And he's $52. That is a great price for this guy with the eyes that light up. Okay, we got the talking doorbell. Um, I don't see... Hey! Here we go. <laughs> he must be motion activated. Because when I did that, it didn't work, but... Anyways, okay, we got a bag of bones here, and then we have this one, press to ring. Yeah, look at the eye. Who goes there? Okay. We have the creepy grandma in a rocking chair. Get off my porch. I don't have time for Halloween night. Didn't they have one of these last year that, like, violently shook or something? That's what I was expecting. Let's see. Hey, you kids! Get off my porch! I don't have time for Halloween night! Okay, let's try one more just in case, because it seems like she probably is supposed to be moving a little bit different. Hey, yeah, there kids. we go. Get off my porch! I don't have time for Halloween night! <laughs> She's one of my favorites. Let's watch it from the side. That remind me of Monster House. Oh my gosh, we have the animated potty skeleton. Look at this guy. Why can't I have my wallet with me right now? What in the world? Look at the eyes. <laughs> All right, Mr. Pooper, we're putting you back. I think I need some Glade air freshener now. I don't know how well you can see this picture. Haunted Hollow, hold on, let me zoom out. Okay, let's try that again. There's a reflection on it, but it's a haunted piano. Try me. Ooh. Oh, look, the ghost appeared playing the piano. That is pretty cool. So if we turn it off, yeah, you turn it off, you can't see the skeleton guy playing the piano, but if you turn it on, there he is. That is creepy. All right, and then we have this sitting here. The Chainsaw Massacre. Pull the trigger. Yeah. All right, that's pretty cool. And then we have the Halloween set of two LED skeleton hand stakes. Let's see if they light up. Yep, look at that. Yes. Uh-oh, look at this. Joe Bean Videos is going to be running down here to buy these. The crawlers, yes! Look at this. <laughs> He's going to come down here and buy every one of these. I love that guy. And look at these haunted spooky girls over here. What are they, what's she gonna do? Oh, come on, one of them work, please. All right, hold on. All right, here we go. She's 
she's not very loud, but she's saying, I just want to play with you. Please play with me. That is super creepy. Awesome Halloween mugs, little tumblers. I like this one. I don't like that it says, let's get smashed, but <laughs> then we have uh, different candles and stuff. Oh my gosh, I have to smell some of these. Trouble is brewing. Warm cinnamon. That actually smells really good. Home sweet spooky home. Black licorice. Ugh, I hate black licorice, but let's give it a whiff. It's actually not too bad. It's not good enough to give up. Mm. But maybe this one is blood orange and berry. Mm. Okay, look at this. I love you to the tomb and back. Okay, and what is this? We have a a little skeleton here. What the heck? It says what all the bones are called. Look, frontal bone, upper jaw bone, nasal bone, sphenoid bone. It's the sphenoid bone. Spooky spells books. Here's some other pumpkins. Here's a like a tarot hand, I guess you would call it. Come in for a spell. And then we have this wreath that says enter if you dare with skulls on it. This one's called Dark Enchantment. LED canvas with sound. This one has the spooky house. Look, there's a skeleton and there's pumpkins. Let's see what happens. Oh, yes. It's like a storm. I don't really hear the sound of a cat screeching. That is pretty awesome. I love that. Oh something appearing in that window. Okay. Poison Witch's Grade. Use with caution. Oh, okay. It's just like a cookie jar. So you could put poisonous witch's cookies in there or dead man's toes. Halloween fence. How tall is this? 72 inches long. Um, oh no. 24 inches long and 12 inches high. So it's a foot high, but it lights up and it has skulls on it. How do you do? Mm, let me think about that. And we got some big skulls down here. Look how big those are. Hold on, those have a button on them, but here's one. Yes, look at that. Fiber optic face on that skull. And of course we have Halloween-y earrings and jewelry. What is this? It's like a bow tie that looks like a bat. What the heck, that is pretty cool. That is pretty much it for the Halloween stuff in this Big Lots. We're going to stop at other Big Lots stores, though, along the way and just see what other awesome stuff that we can find because I know last year they had a ton more than this. Oh, wait, we have the Halloween soap dispensers here. Here's a jack-o'-lantern with a hat, fall leaves. Here's the black cat. Look, he has a little thing on him that says boo. Oh, yum, I love candy corn. Look at this, we have Halloween socks and lip balm. And then over here, wait a minute, what is this? Oh, it's a Paw Patrol thing. That's pretty cool. And then you notice over here they have Halloween bath bombs from Hershey. What the heck, I wonder if it smells like peanut butter cups. Here's a few other things here, candles, soap dispensers. If you've got it, hunt it. Welcome to our haunted house. I love that cat with the skeleton bones. And we got a pumpkin. Here's a skeleton coming out of a grave. Welcome, we've been dying to meet you. Oh, it's got a spider on it it's shaped like a coffin. All right, that's it for the big lots here in Canton. They did have a pretty good selection of Halloween stuff, but we're gonna keep on looking because I know that big lots does even better than this closer to Halloween. Ah, 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 ah.